Michigan, a Midwestern state that straddles the United States and Canada's northern border, is located in the heart of the Great Lakes region. Hiking, camping, and sailing are all popular outdoor activities owing to the stunning surroundings. Its two peninsulas are filled with great towns and cities. In Detroit, the state's cultural center is one of the most interesting places to visit. There are some great destinations in the state, from scenic to romantic to exciting. Plan your travels with our list of the best 10 places to visit in Michigan. Number 10, Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids is a great place to visit in Southern Michigan. It is known for its modern music and restaurant scene. There are a lot of things to do near Grand Rapids. And if you wanna be outside, you're never too far from a state park or a beautiful place in Michigan. Tours from culinary to fishing are among the top things to do in downtown Grand Rapids. If you wanna create your own schedule, you should visit the Grand Rapids Public Museum the Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park, and the John Ball Zoo. The city also has a lot of places to shop, including malls and small shops in all of the neighborhoods. Number nine, Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore is one of the most popular and most beautiful places to visit in Michigan. It is in the northwest corner of the Lower Peninsula. Nature lovers and people who like to be outside will love its beautiful dunes, lovely beaches, windswept rivers, and lonely islands. The National Lakeshore was set up in 1970 to protect a wide range of landscapes, as well as many types of plants and animals. The big dunes along Lake Michigan's beautiful shore are definitely the main attraction, but the green woods, clear streams, and lakes also make it a great place for many kinds of outdoor activities. Aside from hiking, swimming, and kayaking, many visitors enjoy camping in the park because of the beautiful environment. The North and South Manitou Islands have several excellent campsites. Visitors may also explore some intriguing abandoned farms and communities. Number eight, Charlevoix. Northern Michigan's dark sky makes Charlevoix one of the greatest sites in the state for astronomy. There aren't many lights in the area, and there are a lot of large nature preserves. This makes it a great place to see the northern lights and meteor showers. In the winter, it's a great time to go to Charlevoix and look for the northern lights at Fisherman's Island State Park in Mount Mixaba. There are many different things to do and see in Charlevoix, such as antique shops, farmers markets, art galleries, and beaches. Spend some time at the Cultural Corridor, where you may take art or cooking instructions from a local shopkeeper. Number seven, the Upper Peninsula. In the winter, the Upper Peninsula is one of the greatest spots to visit in Michigan. With 200 inches of snowfall each year, the northern area transforms into a winter wonderland for outdoor leisure. You may spend the weekend at one of the many dozen ski resorts or on one of the numerous groomed cross-country ski tracks that wind through the up woods. You can try out new winter activities like ice climbing, dog sledding, and snowshoeing in the Upper Peninsula. The scenery is beautiful, with ice-covered landmarks like lighthouses, frozen waterfalls, ice-covered cliffs along the pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, and winter festivals. One of the finest reasons to visit Michigan's Upper Peninsula in the winter is the Snug Hotel, where you can finish your day by the fireplace. Number six, Holland. The little city of Holland is located on the Lower Peninsula, close to Grand Rapids, on the gorgeous beaches of Lake Michigan. The Tulip City, which was started by Dutch Americans, is a famous tourist spot in Michigan because of its unique history and large number of beautiful bulbs that line its beautiful parks and gardens with windmills. While both the Veldheer Tulip Gardens and the Windmill Island Gardens feature beautiful flower beds for tourists to enjoy, the Holland Museum provides an intriguing look at Dutch history and culture in the United States. The Dutch Village theme park has historic houses, as well as a clog factory, windmill, and costume museum. The ideal months to visit Holland are May, when the fantastic Tulip Time Festival is held, and December, when a delightful Christmas market is held. The city has a beautiful waterfront and a charming center with Victorian buildings. It also has great beaches and water sports that visitors can enjoy. We aim to bring you the top 10 best places to visit in every state. 
If you liked the video so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Number 5. Porcupine Mountains The Porcupine Mountains are one of the best places to go on vacation in Michigan's Upper Peninsula if you want to get away from it all. They are at the western end of Michigan's Upper Peninsula and offer a chance to explore uncharted territory in Michigan. The Porcupine Mountains have 87 miles of picturesque hiking paths as well as stunning vistas from high lookouts. There are 21 beaches on Lake Superior and you should visit the Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park to view the Lake of the Clouds and the Valley of the Old Growth Forest that surrounds it. Waterfalls are another major draw in the Highlands, with over 90 in the forest. Bond Falls and Agate Falls are two of the most renowned. Number 4. Great Lakes Bay the Great Lakes Bay area in central Michigan is a calm place that's great for both romantic trips and trips with the whole family. It is in an agricultural area with many cities and towns that offer everything from farmers markets and antique shops to outdoor sports and art galleries. There are almost 100 miles of hiking trails and picturesque hikes, as well as parks known for bird watching. In the Great Lakes Bay area, you must go to Whiting Forest near Midland to see the longest canopy walk in the United States. The city of Saginaw, which offers a public market, a children's zoo, an art museum, and environmental excursions at the Shiawassee National Wildlife Refuge, is an excellent spot to stay in the area. Frankenmuth is a well-known city in the Great Lakes Bay region. It is a tourist town designed to seem like a little Bavarian hamlet. Frankenmuth is well known for its festivals, Bavarian Inn restaurant, chicken dinners, and the world-famous Christmas Wonderland shop. The Bavarian Inn Lodge is a popular choice for staying in the heart of it all, since it is near everything. Bay City on Lake Huron Shoreline is a great day trip in the Great Lakes Bay region. The waterfront area is a pleasant spot to meander about, and themed excursions may be booked for a day or evening on the water. It also has Michigan's biggest antique center, which spans a full city block. Number 3. Mackinac Island Mackinac Island is one of Michigan's top vacation destinations. The island experience is reminiscent of a classic summer vacation, complete with porch rockers, horse and carriage excursions, and a serenity over Lake Huron, capped off by breathtaking sunsets. This beautiful island in Michigan's Upper Peninsula can only be reached by boat, and there are no automobiles, so visitors enjoy the simplicity of riding bicycles and wandering around the residential streets. On Mackinac Island, you can go kayaking or horseback riding, or you can take a boat ride at sunset under the Mackinac Bridge. The ancient Grand Hotel is perched on a hill with a view of the beautifully planted grounds. Luxury inns and bed and breakfasts are available for lodging. Number 2. Traverse City Traverse City is one of the greatest locations to visit in Michigan, not just because of the landscape, but also because of the variety of activities to do. Traverse City is in northwest Michigan. In the winter, people go there to ski, fat bike, and snowshoe, and in the summer, they go there for water sports. Traverse City is also well known for its golf courses and spas, which are ideal for a peaceful weekend away. Driving down the Pierce Stocking Scenic Drive to the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore is a pleasant day trip from Traverse City. It's a seven-mile picturesque road that takes you through some of Michigan's most beautiful sights, including panoramic vistas of Lake Michigan, Glen Lake, and the towering sand dunes. Number 1. Detroit The second largest city in the Midwest, after Chicago, is Detroit. It is a major cultural center, known for its contributions to art, architecture, and music. After being ignored and falling apart for decades, the D is coming back to life as new projects, businesses, and attractions bring new life to its skyscraper-lined streets. Long associated with crime and urban decay, a number of repair and redevelopment projects have led to art galleries, coffee shops, hotels, and other businesses moving into buildings that were once empty. Detroit is a great place to visit because it has a wide range of art deco buildings, a beautiful coast, and a large and busy theater district. 
During the day, tourists can see great street art and visit world-class museums like the Detroit Institute of Arts. At night, tourists can get lost in the city's edgy and exciting music and nightlife scenes. With so many great things, Michigan's arts and cultural powerhouse is not to be missed. And that's all for today. Which of these places would you like to visit next? And if you've already visited some of the places, how was your experience? Let us know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy similar stuff, check out my other videos. And if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.